How's it going everybody? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, and today is Sunday, aka Father Sunday, which that means I have my dad on for a dual commentary. So dad, introduce yourself. Hey, what's up Quad Squad? It's the Quad Father here, and I have three really interesting stories today. First one is about a mother and daughter being topless together. Uh, I guess I'll hear it. Yeah, let, let's go for it. <laughs> okay, and the other one is about a bikini model teacher. Okay, I, I accept. Yeah, well, most teachers you really wouldn't want to see in a bikini, but, <laughs> yeah, you know, maybe, maybe this one. Maybe. Okay, and the third one is about a guy who hits his girlfriend. Okay, so that's sadly something quite common, but I, I guess it could be interesting. Yeah, they're they're not linked to each other. They're just okay. Okay, they're all so it's not stories. some like it's not all one crazy family. <laughs> now that would be a family. Yeah. No. Um, okay, so this this mother and daughter thing mm -hmm. was yeah. uh, on social media you know you know about the social everything is on right? social media dude i'm on social media you're on social media but it wasn't on twitter it wasn't on um Face instagram was it on facebook nope what it was, was on, it on snapchat okay yeah okay. that's and isn't that the i picture? guess that's social media but uh, isn't that okay. the picture thing where it erases itself well yeah yeah technically you just send a picture and it's gone and you know you can set it for one second or ten seconds and in between of course well i, I that that's what confuses me and being the old guy here I, I don't know how exactly this worked but a mother and daughter the mom was 50 years old and the and the daughter 14 year old they were All taking right. a hot tub together so kind of our age but you're 48 and i'm 14 right and and we do hot tub topless together you and i yes typically but this is a this is a mother and daughter, which makes it a little bit interesting. So All they right. were getting out of the hot tub, and they were topless. Mm -hmm. And their daughter took a picture of them. Okay. okay. And they were topless. And they had covered up, you know, the the, you know, the areolas. All right. And um, all of a sudden on Snapchat, it's, uh, somehow the picture kept going viral. It kept going around and around their high school. So I, is it, can you I, forward you, Snapchat you can, pictures like no, that? No, no, no. You can screenshot them. And, and it alerts it. Picture, it yeah. like, no, you can screenshot and then it alerts the other people that you screenshotted, but it doesn't like take it away or anything. Okay. It just alerts them that you screenshot. Well, that must have been what happened because all of a sudden the police got involved. Why is that weird? Why are why are the police involved? That, I don't know. It was in St. Louis. There's and, nothing illegal about that. Well, the, well, the, the police thought so because the mom actually is facing a year in jail and probation. Why for, for misdemeanor child endangerment? How? What did the, what did she endanger about the child? Well, it's nude nude pictures being sent around the internet. Man, you got to be careful. Didn't they about cover this up stuff. everything though? Like you said. Well, yeah. As far as I as far as the news story said, but of course I haven't seen the picture. Oh, that, that's just dumb. I well, that's well, just dumb. You really think? Okay, is your taxpayer money going really towards that? You you really think that mom should be put in jail versus that guy who just killed three children or whatever no, that didn't no, get I, caught? You really think that? No, I think it's I think it's a waste. I oh, mean, it's such a waste. <laughs> I don't I don't know who's getting hurt in this other than no, maybe no, the fourteen year old daughter's reputation. Okay, yeah, switch your schools, move to another city, well, whatever. I I don't care. It doesn't matter. Your taxpayer money. Every Everybody who's here paying taxes, whether your parents are or you personally, no, she shouldn't go to jail. Yeah, I, I think it's a waste of time, but the police it's didn't dumb. think so, and the school district didn't think so. Dumb, dumb, dumb. The girl has to go to counseling now. Oh, okay, whatever you want. Whatever you want. Well, I guess that's the way our community is, and that's that's basically how it's going to go down. Yeah, well, I guess the lesson to be learned is uh, be careful with all that social media stuff, because it never goes away. Even if it's Snapchat, <sighs> yep. it, can, it can still follow you for a long time. All righty, so let's okay. hear the next one. Now, here's something you might like. I mean, I don't know. You you take English, right? I do, I do. We have to take four years of it in high school, and high school's four years long, so you have to take Every it the year, whole time. Yeah. And and you take Spanish. Yeah, okay. Okay. So um, this was a story about, you might have heard of her, um, Olivia Sprower? Nope. Uh, she models under the name Victoria James. Is that familiar uh, to you? Uh. Okay, well, she's an English teacher. Wait, people model under different names? Yeah, yeah. You know, okay. It's like a pen name, or sometimes you know, uh, actors have different names. Or All right. Eminem is what Marshall Mathers. Yeah. Okay. So they have different names. Her, so she models under the name Victoria James, and she's 26 years old, and she's an English teacher in Florida, and mm -hmm. she's a bikini model also. Okay. Okay. Well, apparently the school district didn't know about it, and right. some of her students saw pictures of her yeah. know, in a bikini, and she got fired. Uh, this, okay, whatever. Okay, so I, your English teacher, would would you want to see her in a bikini? No, that's a negative. Okay, how about your Spanish Sorry, teacher? Sorry, Mrs. Pearson. Sorry, Mrs. <laughs> Watson. No. No, not in a no, bikini? No, neither. No. Well, I, I think, I think you know, it'd be hard to 
for me to focus, if I was a teenage boy and I had this gal as, as my teacher, especially if I could see pictures of her in a bikini. But, yeah. you know, speaking of having everything covered up, she had it all covered up. Yeah. The school district got some complaints from some mothers. Uh, some moms. Some, some mini, dran, dra, mini van driving mothers. Yeah, mom. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, not our mom. But, no, but no, who no. Decided I'm just talking that, about, I'm, I'm just saying moms. Moms, yes. Sometimes moms get kind of upset about these things. And so, actually, she got fired. But that's not where the story ends. Where does it go on? Well, she recently decided to uh, accept another job. Hmm. What it's is a modeling it? job. Okay. Uh, for the magazine, I don't know. You got. You probably. You don't. No, know I don't read magazines. magazines, and no one read. They're outdated. They're two thousand four. Well, if your English teacher looked like this lady and she was in it, you might buy your first magazine ever. It's, it's, yeah. It's Hustler. 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 It's a uh, magazine where they don't wear clothes. All right, whatever. She's pro- still probably getting paid more than her teaching job. Oh, by far. So, do, oh yeah. I mean, I mean, she's she actually wasn't that disappointed. She was bummed that she didn't get to finish out the school year with the kids because you know you you start yeah. a sc- class year yeah, yeah. and you want to finish, finish it, it out. Yeah, yeah you want to finish it out, right? So, um, you know, that, I, I just thought I, it was an it was an interesting drama. It is. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So especially not something when, that happens every day. No, especially when there's bikinis involved. Yeah. Okay, and the last one is you know I never encourage people to uh, hit women. You know, oh, of course. I don't either. I, no. I fall under your category. Yeah, or even guys. I mean, so, I mean, sometimes no, you know, no guys... one should be hitting each other. Right. Well, um, this was this story about a G- Gabriel Verna. Okay. He hit his girlfriend. Oh, and all right. That's a little bit aggressive. It's yeah. It's not. It's not. I don't know what she said. Maybe you know. I can't think that she deserved it. You know. Yeah. That's that's. It's never. But I mean, why, okay. Okay. Go on. I'm okay. not gonna argue. So anyway, so she didn't call the police. She said, "You know what, Gabriel? If you want to stay with me, I'm gonna give you a punishment." And your punishment is you're going to have to hold a sign for okay. eight hours that's on the a very, street. That's a whole day. A whole day. Just standing out in front. And he, she, she wrote on the sign, mm-hmm. I beat women honk if I'm a scumbag. <laughs> okay. Eh, that, that's not that bad. I, I'd rather no. do that than go to jail. But that, that's definitely out of the ordinary. That's no, that was funny. so they could get back together. Why? Why would you get back together with this that? This is guy? what I'm saying. Yeah. So I mean, come if you on, were, just use a little bit. Use your head. God gave it to you, so use it. Don't <laughs> don't think. If so, would uh, you uh, honk? Whatever. Uh, no. I would. Honk. No, I'd honk. I think yeah. I'd honk, but I, I know that. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I do. You don't want to defend. I, you don't want to defend the the wife beater or the girl beater. I, I don't want to defend the girl either because she's dumb for getting back together with the guy. Well, I think the guy's dumb for getting back together with the girl. With the girl. Why? Why? Just go on. Move on. How great could she be? Right. Well, I, I think the girl should think of that too. Would right? you hold the sign? Uh, yeah. You no. Would? Yeah. No. No. Not. Not. N- no. No. Not to get back together. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> no. No. I mean, it's it's uh, it's it's whatever. It's yeah, there are plenty of girls out there, but don't hit true. girls. Yeah, that's, very true. That's, that's, the, that's the lesson you want to learn from this situation. Well, that's all we got for today. All right, guys, and we're going to be having another dad dual commentary series which i'm sure most of you guys probably know about advice wednesday so make sure to inbox me on youtube with your questions and problems we'll be answering three or four of them like we do each week every wednesday so make sure to please get those inboxes in in the next few days also if you guys wouldn't mind leaving a like on this video that'd be pretty cool i'm also going to be streaming with my dad tonight on twitch.tv slash quad mft check us out down in the description below my twitter instagram facebook my dad's twitter too so make sure to go check all that out it's been quad mft and the quad father and we hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you tonight in the live stream and i'll see you in english class